Hi, my name is Paul Holes from Anritsu, Applications Engineer. Today I'm going to show you the new ME7848A Optical Network Analyzer from Anritsu. This system comprises primarily of three component parts. One, a Vector Star High Performance Network Analyzer. Secondly, an MN4765B O2E Calibration Module. And thirdly, an MN4775A E2O converter modulator. These three component parts effectively transforms a microwave VNA into a light wave component analyzer and provides cost effective error corrected transfer function group delay and return loss measurements of optical modulators and photo receivers with an internal intuitive VNA application to handle the embedding and de embedding. It's a very simple, easy to use, reliable system. How it works effectively is we have a characterized O2E module. This is traceable by NIST. It's held in our calibration standard lab and is our golden standard. And from this, we derive S2P characterization folds for all the O2E calibration modules. Various models are available, 40 gigahertz, 70 gigahertz, and 110 gigs in various different wavelengths and some models have all four bands inside and characterized in 850, 1060, 1310 and 1550 nanometers. And on the E2O converter side we have three models currently available at 40 gigs and 70 gigs at 850, 1310 and 1515 nanometers. The modulator stabilized by fully automatic bias controller and some models have an internal tunable laser source. We can also couple an external laser to the optical input and it has a touchscreen and can be remotely controlled. Because we know the S2P files of the traceable MN465B NIST standard, we can effectively de-embed it from the S21 measurement, giving us the response of the E2O modulator. Once we have the S2P file of the E2O modulator, we can then de-embed that also and use that to characterise subsequent photodiodes. And finally, when they've both been characterised, we can de-embed both of those products, the E2O converter module, the O2E calibration module, and use it to characterise the optical fibre cable between the optical out of the modulator and the optical in of the calibration module, giving us an O2O response. And this is all handled and guided by an internal, simple, easy to use application for optical measurements. But firstly, we need to create our reference planes. First one will be port one going into the RF in of the E2O converter, and port two will be the reference plane going into the RF out of the MN4765B O2E calibration module. And for this, I'm going to use a precision autocal. This is characterized from 70 kilohertz to 70 gigs over 20,000 data points. We can also improve the dynamic range of the vector star by reversing the coupler as shown here. As we're normally only interested in S21, we can improve the dynamic range, reverse the coupler by about 10 dBs. So now we've connected our 36585 autocal um, should give us a really good error correction. This provides the highest performance calibration outside of NLRL character calibration. However, because the autocal cal method is a transfer method based on the LRL calibration, it provides a better corrected characteristics than any short open load and through manual calibration, even if using a sliding load. Coupled with the fact that automatic cows are much faster and less prone than manual calibrations, precision autocal becomes the preferred VNA calibration method for all applications um, from R&D to manufacturing. So firstly, we go to the calibration menu. We'll calibrate autocal to port cow, do the modify cow setup. We'll just check and we'll use the internal through. You can use the external through. Check OK and we'll begin cow. Now what you'll see is a progress bar in the middle of the display as it toggles through its measurements and you can see the various displays and the traces as it's toggling through. Now this shouldn't take too long and at the end it'll give uh, an assurance pass so there's a self-check mechanism 
when inside the autocal module to say, well, okay, the calibration is good. I've measured myself inside my, my internal through, everything's okay, and we're ready to go. So just finishing up now, and you'll see it'll pass. There we go, it's done the assurance. We'll press close, and you'll notice down here in the bottom right hand corner, it's gone green, so it says now I'm corrected, I'm good to go. So what I'll do, I'll just file and save this. And that's it, the error correction's done. So now we can connect our equipment up. Port one connected to the RF in of the MN4775A uh, E2O converter. I've got port two of the VNA connected to the RF out of the O2E calibration module. And I have an optical cable between the optical in of the calibration module and the optical out of the MN4775A. So at this point, we're mostly only interested in S21. So I'll just manipulate the display a little bit to change the settings so we're just looking at log mag. And so this is the response of the E2O converter module without any embedding, de-embedding applied. And you can see it runs from about minus 40 down to about minus 50 or so, about 10 dBs loss. We can also manipulate our traces so that we can look at S11 simultaneously. So the input match of the RF in of the E2O converter. So we use our trace menu here, trace management, we can turn off two and four, press OK, go to trace layout, overlay this one, this one one, change the display to log mag. So now it's time to do the embedding. So we invoke our measurement menu, perform optical measurements, we're going to do E2O since we already know the characterised data of the MN4765B. And we'll de-embed and what will be left will be the MN4775A S2B data. So we use the current error correction for our S2P file. Press done. And you can see, here's the corrected measurement. So in the blue trace is the S21 response of our modulator and the yellow trace is the S11 response of the RF input. And you can see in the bottom right hand corner here, the measuring state is E2O. So we're doing E2O measurements. So now we know the S2P characteristics of the E2O converter, we can use that information to de-embed and therefore realise the S2P file of the O2E calibration module. So now we can perform the optical measurements for the O to E. Press O to E, we'll use our existing error correction, and this time we'll de embed the measured. Press done. And here we have the response. And now because we have both O2E S2P files and E2O S2P files, we can de-embed them both and do an O2O measurement of the optical cable between the optical out of the converter and the optical in of the O2E calibration module. And you'll see the measurement of the optical cable is zero.